show my name is katie ruby for those of you watching me for the first time please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and please put on the notification bell right there in front here yes yeah in front of the subscribe button put it on so you don't make fantastic videos like this so how are you doing i hope you're enjoying the summer and for those of you who are having allergic reaction you know disturbing us well yeah? we thank god because we're going to get over it soon okay so thank you for watching how have you been wow i have some great news for you right great 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 yes guys i'm here today to talk to you about some things that are happening at kato show in case you are watching for the first time we are stopping racism with your help yes you heard me right we want to put r.i.p to what racism because after i watch the police officer you know place his knee on the neck of george floyd in march 20 you know 20 right i said no we must put a full stop to racism. Look at uh, Damilola Taylor. Look at Stephen Ro uh, Lawrence in Eltham. The guy just ran after him and said, What, 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 nigger? And, and stabbed him and he died. And, you know, is it Breonna Taylor? Listen, is it my dear Oprah Winfrey? At six years old, he was, you know, he was discriminated against when the, you know, at the place of work where the mother wanted her to spend time with her there because she has left the grandmother's house. Listen, guys, I want to talk to you today that in life that you live, look around you and solve problems. But don't be the type that complain and do nothing. Because if you are that type, then you are the problem. Why this world has not moved forward? Why Africa is behind? Okay? And why this world, all the obstacles and the challenges we are having, that's why they are not resolved because you have a role to play in every problem you see think of a solution before you grumble think of what a solution and that's why here the solution for you on racism with the racial equity system in this awesome book how to stop racism how you can stop racism yes it's on amazon pre-order your copy i'll leave in the link underneath this video for now it's just 2 99 only but after now the price is going to shoot up wow it's going to do what? It's going to shoot up. Yes, it's going to shoot up. Just like that. Fine. And it's not going to come down. I know this came down, but the price, when it goes up, it will never come down. So why am I here again today? For those of you who are watching me and you're thinking of starting a business, and you don't really know the step to take, or you're in business, but you're struggling. You don't know how to navigate your business life. Listen, I'm going to invite you for an awesome event. It's called Key to Unlock Your Potential. You need to come for this event. For those of you who have never attended it, oh my goodness, you will not know what you are missing until you listen to the testimonials of those who have attended before and how they've taken their life from where they were to where they are now. So I want you to be part of that testimonial. So I want you to book your ticket now because it's massively discounted. In fact, it's, it's, it's 90% or what? I don't even know what to call it. We just dropped it, but it's only for limited time only. It'll only for what? For limited time. Because we want action takers to take advantage of this opportunity. Because if you are a late comer, I'm sorry, you're going to be paying full price. Okay? So book your ticket. It's on Eventbrite. And you're going to be connecting on Zoom. I'm going to be contacting you and giving you tips and uh, updating you until the day of the event. Alright? Fantastic. So today I want to talk to you about those of you who have given up on your dream. Listen, it took five good years for the bamboo seed to grow. And the bamboo seed planter never gave up. He kept watering the bamboo seed from one year, two years, three years, four years, five years. Tell me, how long have you nurtured your dream? How long have you pursued this dream that you have given up on yourself? Just like that. Listen to me. I'm Katie Rigo. I'm the best-selling author of the book Triumph in the Midst of Adversity. The book where I shared my life struggle and I redefine adversity. I've been watching out, you know, in a week or two for my upcoming article on redefining adversity and my big why. All right? Please, I need you to, you know, transform your world. Don't be, you know, that person that is sitting You heard me right. How long have you pursued that dream? That vision of yours, that you've actually abandoned it and you're about to give up on it. Listen to me. Life is full of challenges. But in your challenges, if you can see beyond the obstacles and see opportunities, because I've said to you in my book, Triumph in the Midst of Adversity, that in every challenge, there's an opportunity. There is either an opportunity before, after, or right in the challenges. But that depends on how you perceive it. Listen to me. As a mother of a child with challenges, listen, I must tell you, it can be very tough. Especially when those that surround you are not the type that are supportive. You can, I can get what you're feeling. 
But what, what I'm saying to you today is that it's not that it's easy, but you can do better by triumphing in the midst of your adversity, by having the right mindset, building yourself, coming for trainings like this to help your self-development and, you know, move to your next level instead of staying and, you know, staying stuck and getting frustrated because of your difficulties. While you are praying, while you are taking action, believing God and, you know, if all you see is that challenges, then it's going to put you in a bad place. Listen, do you think the people like us who are triumphing in adversity have two heads? No, I have just one head like you. In my book, just like what Richard Markman said, he said, the attributes I have, the skills, triumphing over adversity is something that people can learn. People like you, you can learn it. If you cannot book for my coaching one-to-one, -one, you can get that book and help yourself. If you're a lazy reader, get on my website, www.triumphinthemaceofadversity.com and buy the audio version. And help yourself, grow yourself, develop yourself, stop making excuses, become unstoppable, guys. In the storm, you can become unstoppable. Yes, I'm the one telling you. That is why I redefine adversity. Because the definition of adversity on, in the dictionary is focusing on the pain only. And very soon, as I said earlier, you're going to see my new article on redefining ad adversity and my big why. And why am I sharing this with you? Because I want to transform my world. I want to help those of you out there who are crumbling in your adversity, who are falling and facing down. And I want to help you to be able to stand up straight. And even when you cry, that every tears that drop from your eyes is going to move you a step closer to achieving your goals. Not just crying because you want to cry. Yes, sometimes you could cry to ease the pain. I understand that. You can do that if that will help you to release the pain a little bit. But please don't feel sorry for yourself. Don't feel sorry for yourself because doing that is going to put you in a bad place. It's not going to help you. If it's going to help you, I'm going to tell you. Some of you say I'm a genius. Some of you say I'm a superwoman. But I must tell you the truth is I'm not a superwoman and I'm not a genius. I'm just somebody who is believing in God and believing in myself and understand what adversity truly really is and handle it the way it should be handled. And building my right, the, the right mindset to triumph in the midst of my adversity. And knowing that this world, you have just one opportunity to be here on earth. After here, it is heaven. You cannot come to this world and take the chances twice. So why you are here? Why don't you do the best and make the best out of yourself? Because God has invested so much in you. Don't waste God's investment in your life. Yes. Why am I doing this? Because I know on this earth, you don't have two opportunities to come here. You only be able to come here once. And while you're here, please do the best that you can. Leave a footprint. Don't just leave this world like someone that just passed by. Come here to transform your life or the world of others. Help others pe other people. The pain that you've been through, turn it to profit. Use it to help someone else. Because if you're feeling sorry for yourself, it's going to put you in a bad place. Yes. I'm saying that to you today because I, I know exactly that's what it is. And also, look at those people that you surrounded yourself with. If you think they are the one that demotivating you, then make a shift. Get a new crowd around yourself because you are the average of the five people that you surround yourself with. Yes, you are. So, Deliberately choose those you call your friends, just as I've done for myself too. It's important because those you surround yourself with will determine where you're going and how fast you'll be getting there. All right, because those are the people you listen to most of the time. And if they are demotivational, demotivating you, making you feel sorry for yourself, then it's going to put you in a bad place. So thank you for watching. And I hope to see you at Key to Unlock Your Potential so you can break boundaries and succeed in business and your personal life. Instead of making excuses, become unstoppable. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe to Kato Show. Once again, please, I want to say thank you so much. And hit the notification bell. And leave your comments on YouTube, guys. Don't send me a thumbs up when you have not thumbs up on the video. Yeah.